Hello everyone, this is Colossius, and I am here to tell you about the GoBot that I'm creating. So the Twitch GoBot is uh, still in beta, so I'm beta testing it now. Uh, basically what this means is in the description below, you can actually get access to this bot that I got up right here and uh, use it to assist you in live streaming. <clears throat> Now, you should know that this is mainly for ghost streamers, however, other people can use it as well. So let's get started and dive right in. Uh, this video is going to assume you downloaded it at the links below, and we're going to take it from there. So uh, here we got the Mac and Windows build. The uh, zip file, just double click it and extract it. If you don't have an extractor, then Google one, uh, I don't wanna go into uh, how to get an extractor, it's just a .zip file, so it shouldn't be too hard to get it out. Anyway, so here we're on the Mac version first, so you can see here that I got my little GoBot beta version 1, 0 0.1, uh, and uh, this is what it looks like, but we need to do something before we can actually use it, and that is go into the settings. So here I'm gonna to have to right click and show package content. Uh, go into content and then go into the resource folder. This is important because you have to actually set the settings inside here uh, because without the actual settings, then you have no way to access your Twitch account. And I can't do this for you because I don't know your Twitch information. So what you need to do is actually, let me open up a little web browser here. You need to go to twitch.tv and uh, I'm going to go here so I don't get the opening video lag. Uh, and then you're going to need to make a new account. In my case, mine's actually Klossy Bot. So this is going to be a brand new account, something separate from your main account. Uh, just make a new account on Twitch eventually. Uh, so surfing the web, not a good idea. Uh, make a new account on Twitch, and then uh, you're going to need what's called an oath token. Um, I'll go ahead and put this link in the description below as well. So once you've signed in on your new robot account, once you've signed in on your new robot account, you're going to need to go to this link. Um, that's the password generator. Uh, da, 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 da. Using an oath token, okay. Oath password generator. And this is the code you will need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this after the video because, uh, well, actually, I'll just put a little block on the video. Um, basically, you're going to get a token in this little box and you're gonna to need to copy paste the whole thing into the settings. So uh, after you get that oath token on your account, you need to go in and where you see the oath token, you need to actually copy paste that oath token. And this is a fake oath token, I changed it so this actually isn't a real oath token, you won't be able to do anything with it. Uh, it will need the OAUTH semicolon and then the full token, so uh, Go ahead and do that. Uh, if you copy paste the whole thing and you put it like uh, only on this part, make sure you didn't put oath twice. So the oath token is just the description and then you need to oath, semicolon, and then the code. And that'll be the oath token to your channel. And then you need, of course, the username that the bot is going to sign on to. So here you have the username and the oath token to that robot account. Then you need the channel to join. In this case, I'm joining my channel, and it'll be hashtag Glossius, which is my channel. Now, here's something that's very nitpicky with Twitch. The bot username has to be case sensitive. So capital mine is capital C and capital B. However, the channel to join is lowercase, all lowercase. Do not put uppercase in this. It will not work. Uh, so that's, that's a little sensitive thing there. <clears throat> so uh, that's probably the most difficult part about using this is actually setting it up in the settings because Twitch, to access Twitch, you have to get that oath token and then you have to use the bot's account and then uh, the channel to join has to be lowercase. Uh, don't get rid of this little hashtag either that has to be there. Just put it right after the hashtag and you should be good. 
Uh, but if you were able to do that, then everything should be fine. And now we'll get into another feature, which is the name of your points. So for example, mine are called Classy Coins. So my points name, I'm going to change to Classy Coins. And all this stuff I've already put in on another version, so it's on this one actually. Um, and uh, that's basically what you'll want to do. I'm going to fix that because this is the version I actually give out. Uh, so you'll change all that. And if you have any problems with this part, any problems at all, feel free to send me a message on Facebook, Patreon, uh, or YouTube. Send me a message or post in the comments below uh, what your question was, what you did. Uh, if you couldn't figure it out, just uh, get a hold of me and I will help you set it up. All right, so now that you learned that, let me go ahead and show the Windows version as well. Windows is pretty similar. You're gonna do the exact same thing once you get to the text files. I just gotta show you where the text files are. So in your Windows version, you're gonna get the executable file and the data file. Now, for you Windows guys, this executable file must be in this folder. It has to be in the same place. If you want a desktop shortcut, so if this is in your downloads or something and you want a desktop shortcut, then all you need to do is right click and you'll see a create desktop shortcut. And that shortcut can be moved to the desktop. So Windows, it's a, it has to be with this data folder. It's a little different than Mac. Uh, the Windows, just leave the executable in the folder. But if you create a shortcut, you can put that wherever you want. So uh, go ahead and, and if you're following along, do that now. Right click the executable, which is the .exe. Uh, and create that shortcut. Now, of course, it's not going to be here on the Mac because I'm on a Mac, but on the Windows, you will need to do that. Uh, and then um, you will have the data folder with the executable, and inside the data folder is your resources. And in the resources is the settings.txt. Now, there are a bunch of other .txt files. Um, I wouldn't mess with those unless you know what you're doing, because if you type one thing wrong, you can mess up the entire program. Uh, but anyway, just go into the settings.txt and do the exact same thing I showed earlier. Pretty much the same thing. Okay, now we'll get into the actual features and let's go ahead and open it up. This is the one that already has my information on it, so we're good there. I'll put that to the side. And I'm actually going to bring my Twitch, actual Twitch chat over here. So that way you guys can see it working live. Uh, and this is me where I was debugging it and testing it and doing all that stuff. But anyway. Uh, let's go in here. Now, once all the information's in the settings and it's saved in the resources, all that good stuff, all the settings are good. All you have to do is click this login button and the settings only need to be, only need to be done once. So next time you, all you have to do is open the program and just click the login button. Uh, I did have it where you could put, type it in here, but it was tedious to type it in every single time you wanted to use it. So I actually just made this little settings thing. So that way, once you put the settings in, all you have to do is just click the login button and you're good. And you can also see the points when you're offline. See, I already have some people. There's the chat, there's the points, and you can add points or add to all. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So first off, let's log in. And you can see in the Twitch chat, ClossyBot logged in. Beep, beep, ClossyBot's now online. All right, and you can see here. So here you can actually type, hello. And this will be your robot. You can actually type from your robot here and say things from your robot here. Uh, and this will actually go to the Twitch chat. So you can actually follow your Twitch chat completely from here. This way you don't have to open up your uh, channel on a web browser, which really can slow down your stream if uh, your video is loading on the side or if you're not careful or something. Web browsers can slow down your stream. That's why most of the time people pop out their chat before they go live. And that's usually what I used to do. But uh, actually, I've been doing it for a while now. But uh, with this, you can actually see your chat right here. And that way you don't have to do it. All right, now let's get into some of the features. So first off, you can click points at any time and give people points. So let's see. Hello, there's my main account. Let's see how many classy coins I have. So for default, you can actually just do points and you'll get the same thing. And it'll actually show the points uh, in the points name. And that's actually the same for the command. So you can do explanation mark glossy coins or explanation mark points, uh, and it'll do the same thing. Supposed to, anyway. Um, this version, I might not have set up the, no, I set up the glossy coins. 
anywho, anywho, it's a it's a beta. It's a beta. If something goes wrong, let me know. I will look in the code, see where it is, and fix it. Uh, likely, this is like probably to permission level, but anyway, I'll fix it. Um, anywho, uh, in here you can do classy coins. And you can see here it's popping up Classy Coins and the Classy Bot has like 2,000 right now. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then you can add. So here in the points, you can actually add points. So here's Classy as Classy Bot. So let's say I wanna add 1,000 points to Classius. I click add, 2,000, now he's at 2,000. All right, well, let's say I wanna take it from Classius. Take it, oh, now he's down to 1,000. And actually we'll tell you in the chat uh, when it happens uh, as well. And you can also do it add to all. So for example, if I just wanna add one classy coin to everybody in this list, everybody, um, no, it's everybody that's online, sorry, not everybody in the list, not everybody in the list, everybody that's online right now. It would be add to all, but I'm not actually, uh, there's not really anyone on right now. So uh, this button may not work perfectly but uh, you can add, take, and add to all. I will look at this button, but uh, what it's supposed to do is actually add to everyone that is watching at that moment. Okay, now let's get into the uh, ask for move. This is one of these go specific things. So this ask for move will actually ask the Twitch chat to vote on a move. So you actually just write a move in the chat. So for example, if I write D4, then it took in d4 but let's say i also wrote e4 or c4 uh basically what many people will do is write their own coordinates um and the robot will take up 60 seconds i've made it 60 seconds to to, uh, to take take it for lag or whatever so it will be a 60 second delay from when it asks for the move and when it returns the move uh, but it will choose a move that has been voted on, and if it does not receive any votes on any moves, then it will choose a random move on a 19 by 19 board. Uh, it does not have a vote for move on a 9 by 9 or 13 by 13. It only has the 19 by 19 right now because uh, that's all I had really time for it for that, and I was trying to get to the points as well. So the S for move will be a 60 second delay, and you see there, the move chosen was D4. And uh, you can vote on moves. Now, I think I actually put in a block to where people can't vote more than once. So I'm pretty sure I did, but you can test that. Uh, and if you can prove me wrong, then I'll go fix it. But uh, yeah, uh, so that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, oh, uh, let me get into the commands. Let me get into the commands. So anytime you need to, you can go back in this folder and actually look at the commands, that text, because uh, I haven't actually made a document uh, anywhere online to show all the commands of it because I'm not finished making it. I still have several things I need to do. Um, and this is actually the commands. Uh, this is not anyone. Uh, that's I just haven't fixed this yet. But the get points is um, admin or owner. The add points is admin and the take points is admin level. The points is anyone, but these three are all admin level. Now the admin levels is basically the owner and the uh, admin. So owner is going to be level zero, which is the highest, and admin is going to be level one. And then you'll have ranks. So these are the commands you can actually use. Uh, and while you can just do it manually from here, the add or take, you can actually do it from here as well. So Clossybot is actually an admin. Uh, on the program. It's not the admin in the Twitch chat. It's the admin on the program. There's a difference. Uh, and the get points for Colossus will show you uh, the points. And it'll actually show you the ranks right here as well. So Colossus, his rank, which is owner, and his the amount of Colossi coins he has. All right, so let's let's get into the ranks. Ranks is something you will also, if you want to use the commands manually, you have to go in here and actually edit. Um, oh, it's not here, it's actually in the points. So here's the ranks. Um, this is something I'm gonna have later. So don't touch these actually, don't touch these right now. Um, don't touch the owner and the admin, but otherwise you can touch down here. These are the ranks that uh, you can add. Now this does not work just yet, but this is, this is to show you what the owner and admin is. It's basically a rank. Uh, and these are the ranks that will be added in a future uh, update 
So it doesn't quite work right now, but these are the ranks that I'm gonna add. And I think that's the next feature I'm implementing is uh, user ranks and they can use the point system, uh, whatever you named it, minor class sequence, to actually buy up a rank and uh, have more features. And that's basically, uh, that's pretty much the next feature I'll add. And I think I may also do the higher rank you are, the more classy coins you get on an interval. Um, and uh, I might set that in the settings as well, how many classy coins each rank gets. Uh, and that, or I might put it in here, who knows. Um, the idea of the ranks is to give different ranks to different users, and those ranks will get different benefits and access the different commands. All right. Uh, so the file we actually needed to uh, look at was the points. All right, here we go. So here's the points, and here's the user access. Here, you can see ClossyBot is an admin, and Clausius is a recruit. Um, you can delete those, you can keep those, whatever you want. But uh, when you actually are in here, uh, if you already did this and tested it out, then actually if you go back in your points.txt, your name will probably be in here. If it's not, you can go ahead and manually add it. And to manually add it, you'll type your username in all lowercase. So mine would be Clausius in all lowercase, semicolon, zero points or 100 points or however many points you want. Uh, so it can be 10,000 points, however many points you want, just 100. And then the rank level. And you're gonna put owner for your main account. Your main account will be owner. Uh, and that is that. Uh, and then just save it and close it and uh, restart the program. Uh, the program will need to restart if you ever edit any of these uh, because the program reads the file when it loads. So some functions may read it during the program. I'm not sure which ones, but I think almost all of them read the files when it loads, though it may save the file while it's live. What this means is, uh, especially in points, let's say you typed in something while the bot was running, right? But then one of the functions, which is the save function, saves while it's doing that. Well, it didn't see your change, so it'll actually delete your change and save what it did. So your changes need to be done when the bot's not active or when the bot's not online. Uh, because when it's online, it may possibly uh, delete the changes you made. So just uh, close it when you make the changes. All right, well, that was it. Uh, if you have any questions or can't figure anything out, then um, watch the video again just to double check that uh, maybe you didn't, miss, maybe you missed something or something, or uh, make sure you uh, actually tried to keep up with the video before tracking me down because uh, I don't want to be pestered with questions I already answered. However, if you watch the video, you watch it multiple times, you still can't figure it out. Let me know. I will be more than happy to help you. Um, I have nothing against helping people. Just uh, try to watch the video uh, all the way through first and uh, watch it a second time if you need to to make sure you got all the features and got everything out. If you still can't figure something out or can't get it to work or anything, or if you find a bug or have a feature request or find something you can't do or something that went wrong that wasn't supposed to or anything like that, just go ahead and send me a message uh, anywhere you can find me, Facebook, Patreon, YouTube, Twitter, wherever. Um, but yeah, just uh, send me that message and I will be happy to help you. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the beta of the GoBot. And uh, let me know, if, again, let me know if you have feature requests. I want this specifically for Go players. So um, if you are a Go player, a Go streamer, and you said, okay, I, need, I want this bot to do this for me while I'm playing Go or something, then let me know. I will try my best to get those features out. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.